Hi there! In this second tutorial, I'm gonna show a way of doing this kind of solids. And what kind of solids are these? Well, partially it's a solid of revolution, because you could say that it's made of a series of circles along the axis that goes along all the hook. The problem is that we cannot do this kind of body with the follow me tool because the radius of these circles change changes along the axis. Also check that the changes in the radius are smooth without edges. Notice its symmetry, which will save us work later. Okay, let's make this carabiner shown in the picture but with a varying thickness. Let's start creating its longitudinal outline applying what we know about tangents to reach the most precise possible form. Remember that in Google SketchUp the Arc tool is set in 12 sides by default. If we want to change that number of sides while we are drawing it, we type the number of sides desired followed by the letter S of sides. That number of sides is what's gonna be shown in the measurements toolbar in the bottom right corner of the window. When we are finished drawing the outline, we are gonna make it solid. So we are gonna start drawing middle circles perpendicular to the outline to make it grow up. To make it easier for later, we are going to change the number of sides to 8. The more sides your arcs have, the more faces your solid will have and the ending result will be smoother. Next step is start drawing lines that connect all those arcs and following the outline as we are drawing its skeleton. To make them become faces, draw more lines to make triangles. As I was saying before, the symmetry of this body is gonna cut us time. If it wasn't symmetric, we had to repeat all the steps on the lower side of the body. But, as it is, we only have to copy this half. When we are finished drawing the faces, we are gonna make them smooth. Using the eraser tool, and with Ctrl key pressed, we are going to erase the edges. If we hadn't pressed the Ctrl key, the edges will be completely erased. And if we pressed the Shift key, it wouldn't get smoother. Ok, it's a little messed up, so let's orientate the faces to make it uniform. Now I'm gonna invert it cause the white color is supposed to be the inside of the body. Now it looks good. I want to select it all, clicking three times and make a copy below it. Remember that to copy something you press the Ctrl key before or while you are moving it. Now we have to mirror it using the scale tool and from the center control point we click and move it down until in the measurements toolbar appears a 1. This means we have mirrored it in an exact proportion. Now we join one half to the other and to make it 1 right click on the mouse and click on intersect with model. Now it's only a matter of smoothing this juncture. Last touches and it's done. Ok, that was all. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials like this. See you soon and thanks for watching.